Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Vasaya Bhutali Srimati Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namari Namaste Saraswati Deve Gauravani Pacharani Nirvisesha Shunyavati Paskacha De Satarani Jaya Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Adaita Gadadhar Sri Vasudhi Govakta Vinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 As you are all well aware, I'm sure this is the appearance day of Lord Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Lord Chaitanya is called the Golden Avatar. We have a very interesting concept here. At least in the West, we always consider the four ages like Satya Yug, Trader Yug, Dwarpa, and Kali to be golden, silver, bronze, and iron in a descending order. Lord Krishna's incarnations in the four ages, however, is in an ascending order. In the Satya Yug, we have the appearance of Lord Amsa. In the Treta Yug, we have the appearance of Lord Ramchandra. In the Dwarpa Yug, we have the appearance of Lord Krishna. But in the age of Kali, the most fallen, the Iron Age, we have the appearance of Lord Sri Krishna Chaitanya, the most perfect incarnation of Lord Krishna himself. He is Sri Krishna in the mood of Srimati Radharani. I thought this morning I would like to hear from all of you. As I asked you yesterday, you can each bring a question. If you don't have a question, then you can at least answer my question. So I will first address this to Madhusudan Prabhu. What does golden avatar mean to you? It means uh, Mahaprabhu clean everyone's heart with the shining of Harinam, then become their heart just like a gold with the Harinam. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. What does golden avatar mean to you? It means most merciful avatar. Golden avatar means most merciful. Is that right? It certainly means that. It means most valuable, doesn't it? Gold is the most valuable metal. Yeah, most valuable. Gold is a metal that does not tarnish. Even in the material atmosphere, it does not diminish its luster. Similarly, Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, even in this material atmosphere, radiates the brilliance of Radharani's love. Anyone else want to speak on the golden avatar or do they have a question they want to ask? Srivati Radharani color is golden, so Chaitanya Mahaprabhu avatar is golden. He asked because the color of Radharani was just like a gold. Yes. That's why. Yes, she's described as golden also. Why is Lord Chaitanya called the most merciful avatar? Is it he's the easiest to approach or what? Why is he the most merciful avatar? Because he's easy to approach or why? Lord Krishna when he came he said Sarva Dharma Purgishamami comes her number first you surrender then I'll give you everything. He tells Arjuna, Oh Arjuna, surrender to me utterly. By my grace I give you peace, wealth and victory. But Lord Chaitanya does not demand anything. He simply says, chant Hare Krishna and be happy. Lord Chaitanya did not tell Jagai and Madai to first become very pure and then they can take to Krishna. He said, 
chant Hare Krishna and don't commit any more sinful acts. Lord Chaitanya is golden because he delivered the most valuable gift, the chanting of the holy name of Krishna. It cannot be tarnished even if spoken by a very impure person. Consider Ajamil. He lived uh, his whole life with a prostitute. But simply by calling his son Narayan, whom he named after Lord Narayan, Lord Narayan said, he's called my name. I must immediately save him. Even though Ajamil meant something different than the Lord, the sound of the Lord's holy name is so potent that it immediately had the effect. Any other comments or questions? No comments? No questions? What kind of an audience do we have here? <laughs> Can't you say something about Lord Chaitanya? What does Lord Chaitanya mean to you? Mataji, what Mataji, does Lord Chaitanya yes. mean to you? Hindi. Bolo. Mahaprabhu ke liye. You're afraid to speak about Lord Chaitanya? We should always be ready to speak a word of praise about our Lord. If we're not, we're not a very joyful servant. We're not a very grateful servant. We should be bubbling with excitement to speak about Krishna. What to speak of Lord Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? I have experienced in my life that Mahaprabhu has always showered his mercy on fallen soul like me. She asking, I have experienced in my life, Mahaprabhu is so merciful and he is always showering his mercy upon his devotees. That's absolutely true. Thank you very much. Is there anyone that could not say that? I'm afraid we're simply so full of false ego, thinking, what will people say? I can't say anything very intelligent, so I won't say anything. That is false ego. More concerned about what others think than what Guru and Krishna think. Yes. Radhe Krishna, Jai Shila Bhakti Pat. Uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Lord Chaitanya is also called as uh, God Chandra because he is a golden moon and he was uh, Krishna himself with... Uh, uh, <laughs> with the mood of Radharani? Uh, with the mood of Radharani. Um, especially in a Kalyug where people were just fallen souls, they absolutely forgot about Krishna. So Mahaprabhu came uh, to, uh, to make them realize what their, uh, what their aim should be, what their, what their soul should... Srila Bhakti Mahaprabhu is very, 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 very merciful all the fallen soul. What is the proof? Proof is this, he sent to you, uh, deliver us in Ulasnagar. The proof is that he sent Srila Prabhupada to save us all. <laughs> if Srila Prabhupada had not come, I would not be here. Srila Prabhupada is the ocean of mercy that emanates from the feet of Lord Chaitanya. Srila Prabhupada did what no other avatar, what no other guru ever has done. He took Krishna consciousness outside India and gave it to the whole world. He did this in a mere 10 years, simultaneously writing many, many books and giving thousands of lectures and traveling around the world again and again and again. We cannot begin to contemplate how great Srila Prabhupada is. Krishna came and spoke Bhagavad Gita. Krishna aaye aur Bhagavad Gita sunai. 
And the re requisite of Bhagavad Gita is surrender. Without surrender, you cannot understand Bhagavad Gita. Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to demonstrate personally what love of God is. Even to Jagais and Madais, which we all are. He has made it so simple that simply by calling on the holy name of the Lord, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare. By that simple process, we can transform the whole world. We can make Kali Yuga as good as Satya Yuga. In fact, the period after Lord Chaitanya came to this world is called the Golden Age of Kali. No other questions? Please accept, please accept my humble obeisances the dust of your lotus feet. If I have made any offense, please forgive me for that. Can I ask a question about Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? Bhaktipat, uh, there is a written in the Chaitanya Charitamrit, Srila Prabhupada has written that uh, and we are uh, saying Shuddha Bhakti and Krishna Prem. Krishna Prem are the goal of our life. Krishna Prem is goal of our life. Then what is the difference between the Shuddha Bhakti and Krishna Prem? Is the Shuddha Prem, if Shuddha, Shuddha Bhakti is a way or Krishna Prem is a goal, or both are the goal. She asking, what is different between Shuddha Prem, means pure love, or love of God? So what is the aim of our life, Shuddha Bhakti, or love of Krishna? Well, if one pursues love of Krishna, love of God, he will ultimately come to Shuddha Prem. Prabhupada used the example of eating. If you have sufficient food and you just continue to eat, you come to the position where you don't want any more. You're full. When you have Sudaprim, you're full. You don't want any more of anything material. It's also described in Srimad Bhagavatam. Uh, to six, hoitakiya uh, priyata, unmotivated, uninterrupted, pure devotional service. Unmotivated means no material desires for anything. Uninterrupted, without any cessation. Srila Bhaktivad, what is the key of Krishna consciousness? Sincerity. Krishna says, I am in everyone's heart, fulfilling their desire. If you desire purely, if you desire only Krishna's love, you will surely get it. He fulfills everyone's desire. That's his promise. But his, Krishna's promise also that I am equal to all. Therefore, if you have other desires, he'll fulfill those and they will impede your progress in Krishna. Therefore, the best prayer is thank you, Krishna, for now as it is. How do I use now as it is in the best way for your service and pleasure? I'm willing to do whatever you want. I'm confident you have a perfect plan for me. And I'll be patient to understand and persevere. Thank you very much. Shri Shri Radha Vindavan Chandra Bihari Lal, Srila Bhakti Pad Maharaj, Srila Bhakti Pad Maharaj, Srila Bhakti Pad Maharaj, Srila Prabhupada Maharaj, Nitai Gaur.